bears. There are brown bears, black bears, grizzly, polar, panda, the bears. But did you know you could study them for a living? Large carnivore ecologist Dr. Ray Wynn Grant does just that. She is not afraid of bears, but I still totally am. So she's gonna tell me what to do if I ever run into one. And we might, because we're going for a walk in their home, the woods. Welcome like, to the forest. Thank you, thank you. It's so beautiful. I <laughs> love what you've done with the place. Okay. This is my home away from home. Yeah, perfect. Dr. Ray started her wildlife research career studying African lions. But then she decided to turn her attention to the largest carnivores in North America, bears. And yeah, to study them, she's got to get like right up in their faces. And to do that, she has to trap them in a humane and safe way. What does a bear trap look like? My favorite to use are called barrel traps. And it's really like a big, big, big barrel pipe that fits an entire bear. And we put some bait in the back, and then the bear walks in, a little door shuts, and it's trapped. The second thing I do is tranquilize them so that they're fast asleep when I'm handling them. And then the third thing I do is get my data. So that can be a DNA sample from hair or from blood. And it's also putting a collar around their neck to have a GPS unit that tracks their movements wherever they go. Cool. That helps me to figure out, OK, this part of the forest is especially important to this bear. One of the things I love about bears is that they're just like me. They're kind of always hungry. Bears have an incredible sense of smell. They can actually come from the forest. They like have their little noses. They smell a little barbecue and walk a mile or more directly to where that smell came from. What's the coolest thing that you've learned from studying bears? I have to say, I have always been very fascinated by the way bears hibernate, especially female bears. They lose a significant portion of their body weight during hibernation. Is hibernation just like a really long nap? So I think that's the best way to think of it. They do it for the winter because they live in places where there's no food resources in the winter. The coolest thing to me, though, is that female bears give birth during hibernation in the den, which is amazing. So they actually, you know, essentially will wake up, give birth to two or three, sometimes four cubs, all without eating anything, without drinking anything, without getting up at all. It's amazing. So she's like the OG power woman. Like I mean, super... it's like so girl power, so yeah. feminist. Like female bears hold it down. We don't see any bears at the moment, but let's right. say like we did see one, yes. like there was a bear right there. What are you supposed to do? Sure, so you don't make eye contact with a bear. That makes sense. It's yeah. threatening to them and it might make them aggravated and want to charge at you. Either look at its feet or right above its head, back slowly away. Okay. And if you have a jacket or something, you're gonna take it off and hold it over your head like this. Okay. To make yourself look bigger. Okay. okay. If you feel the need to, you can yell really loud to just also intimidate the animal. Anything in particular or just don't my, eat me? <laughs> my favorite is get away, bear. Yeah. Get. And eventually, once you get to a certain distance, you can turn and run. And do you ever just feel like, I have the coolest job? I have the coolest job. I'm so fortunate. <laughs> I've wanted to do this my whole life, and I'm really doing it. It's That's amazing. Okay, so let's go track a bear. Let's go track a bear. Great.